Welcome to our first edition of Traffic. What's traffic other than that road clogging condition we all love to hate? It's actually the name of our feature car department, and I couldn't think of a more fitting inaugural feature than Brandon Leung's A86 Corolla. Brandon is a hardcore enthusiast who cut his teeth at such places as HKS, and also served as one of the founders of JTune.com. Right now, Brandon's days are currently filled nurturing his latest venture, Bowls LA, a street culture shop that caters to the most ardent fashionista. Let's go check out Brandon's shop and see his hot sheet. Here we come, B. What's the shop called? It's called Bowls. Okay. We're located out here in uh, San Marino, California. Can you explain to me the name of the, uh, where the um, name came from? Yeah, it's just, uh, we wanted something extremely vague. Didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves into to being anything in particular. And that's kind of where the name kind of, kind of came from. It can be construed in so many different ways. We kind of want to leave it as that. Leave it to your imagination, so. Can we take a look at the car? Of course, please. Okay. Very good. Let's go see, let's go see Brandon's car. So I noticed you painted your doors black. Why would you do that with the stock doors? Actually, those came black because of the uh, carbon fiber finish that they're made out of. They're those are carbon. Are those, are those fiberglass knockoffs? No, actually. Carbon fiber wrap? No? Okay. And no, those actually just aren't the decal. You know, oh, okay. Just, it's, just, it's actually a real carbon That fiber. is real carbon yeah. fiber. Same with the hood. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. So, wow, you are. For whatever reason, ten steps actually, ahead of all the products yeah. on my car are quote unquote real. And they are real. Yeah, You're, I know that, that might be unfathomable for some, to some people, but yeah, actually. I, uh, you turbocharged a Hachiroku. Yeah, we kind of came to like a, like a roadblock where we're kind of figuring out what we could do with the engine, what engine swaps were available. I really wanted to stay with the 4AG as opposed to swapping to anything else, and uh, because I was working at HGS at the time, we had the uh, gamut of turbocharged parts and whatnot, and we kind of just pilfered some stuff from, uh, from the R&D department to fabricate the kit. So. Okay, I'm going to say the D word here. Do you ever drift the vehicle? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Uh, any future plans for the car? Anything else? You um, pretty much finished with just want to enjoy it or anything the, else? The stupidity here, I probably could have owned a home by now, but yes. unfortunately, <laughs> I have a Corolla, you know? So, herein lies I, the problem. But. I own a home that's not even as cool as your Corolla. So, <laughs> uh, so no other plan, but you just money. felt like you spent way too much money on it. It was probably it. the most money I've spent on a build so far. Yeah, and out of all the cars that I've owned, this is probably the one that takes the cake, so... Kind of like a showroom piece. It was actually the first car I ever owned. Not this one specifically, but the Corolla GTS was the first car I ever owned when I was in high school. And so as I got older, and now yeah, have now I have it. the money to do uh, something. And that's kind of why I, I saw this really clean um, Corolla. Couldn't pass up on it. The interior was uh, uh, spotless. Only had about 120,000 miles, original miles on it. The uh, owner actually had a photocopy of the window sticker from Longo Toyota. And he had all heritage. the, um, yeah. Heritage. <laughs> So I couldn't pass that up, and you know, we kind of it turned into what it is now. But it, it started off as a really, really clean, daily-driven Corolla. Kind of morphed its way into this beast. And then the clear, the clear uh, cam gear covers are very. Had to import import that from Japan again. Does absolutely nothing, but uh, kind of wanted to see those little purple cool guys spinning around in there. Who built the uh, who, who built the engine? Um, the uh, the boys at HKS. Um, and, uh, John K. John Kur Kuriyama, uh, Howard Hoshiko, uh, Katsu Hibiu. Triumvirate of talents right there. Exactly. Yep, you can't go wrong when you put those three guys together. All right, man. Brandon, thanks a lot, man. It was great hanging out with you today. Do you think you can maybe take me for a ride in your car and we can hang out a little bit tonight? Yeah, maybe some other time, man. I got you. Are you sure? Okay, well, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll do lunch. I love you.